Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going back into the Amazon Tool Deals and checking out some of the items that I've found for this week. All these items will be linked down in the description for you guys with their own independent link and then I'll have two additional links that will be labeled Tools and Tools Continued. Both of those links will take you to a long list of tools that I've went over in the past or other tools that I suggest. So that's all there for you guys. But these are going to be tools that are either on sale, tools that even at their full price I believe to be good deals, or tools I find interesting and would like your guys' input on. So here we're looking at the Malco Eagle Grip Curved Jaw Locking Pliers. And these are probably known to be the best locking pliers on the market. But unfortunately, I believe they're shutting down and basically what's left is being sold at a discounted price. So once these are gone, I believe that they're just going to be gone. So if you guys are looking for a good quality locking plier, then this is definitely one to check out, especially now that they're on sale. These ones are at $37.86, down from their typical price of $41.49, so a few dollars savings there. This has 4.9 stars at 431 ratings. They do have many different uh, jaw designs and sizes available as well. This is just one that I included so you guys can see. Uh, but like I said, if you search the Mal Malco Eagle Grip locking pliers, you will find many other designs and sizes. So these are made in the USA and have been made for quite a few years and they kind of disappeared for a while and now they've shown back up within the last year or so and basically we're just kind of waiting until these all sell and then I I think from my understanding that's that's going to be it. So like I said if it's something that you're in need of and you're wanting a good quality set this is definitely one to consider purchasing. They are going to be a little bit more expensive. Sometimes you, you can get your Taiwan and China made ones for, you know, this price for a set of three or four, whereas this is just one. But this is going to be one that should last you a lifetime without issues. Uh, if you're a weekend warrior DIYer that's just using these every once in a while, maybe you want a good quality pair. This is one to consider. But you could probably get by with a cheaper set, but if you're in the professional field that's constantly or in any sort of situation where you use this type of locking plier a decent amount, this is definitely one that you're going to enjoy. And here they've just basically included some bundle sets where you can get some Knipex or two pairs. Here's just a little bit of information on it if you guys would like to pause and read that. The knurled end over here where I'm at. There is a hex key portion to release and increase torque. And then the release handle right here, just your standard release design there. Uh, but the rest of it, you should be able to read. <laughs> Next is another product from SK's brother, Duratec, the three-piece set of ratchets. This is the quarter-inch, three-eighths, and half-inch drive ratchets in the 90-tooth design. They do still have quite a few different that it's not like your standard tool company where you got flex heads locking flex heads your standard design like this um, comfort grips where they're all the same ratchet with just different features Duratech is just kind of one of those companies that uh, has stuff made from all over so when you look at their ratchet sets like this is obviously not from the same lineup as this yes they're probably from the same factory but the whole handle design is different the whole head design is different here you're looking at more of your basic design ratchet that comes in a semi-locking flex head and here's just a quick release more of your generic design your bulkier head whereas the fully polished is more of what you see commonly today with a non-quick release ratchet a more slim head a 90 tooth design so yeah they're just kind of all over the place out of all four of these sets that they have available this is definitely the one that I would consider for one it is $35 for all three ratchets which is a fantastic price a 90 tooth design so I think any weekend warrior DIYer would be happy with these I don't think I would get into the professional field with this just because of warranty and I would want something a little bit better known than Duratech, but Duratech does have some good stuff for a really good price, and then they also have some really cheap stuff that I would stay away from. And uh, this is one that I would I wouldn't be afraid of any weekend warrior or DIYer using uh, if you do a moderate amount of work. 
Here we'll just kind of go over some of the images so you guys can kind of see it a little bit more close up. There you can see their other 92 third normal set that we saw earlier versus this low profile head. This is more commonly seen today as the standard ratchet, whereas this is your more generic cheap design ratchet uh, that you may still find in many cheaper sets or those brands that don't really have names that you've ever heard of. <laughs> There you can see the lengths. This is five and a half inches for the quarter inch, seven and a half inches for the three eighths, and nine and a half inches for the half inch drive. It does come in that blow molded case that you saw with all of their other kits as well. It does have a little bit of knurling there on the handle. I think it's a good deal at $35 if you're just looking for a cheap set that's, you know, a little bit better than your very generic style ratchet. Like this one here, Dura Move. This is your more generic style, cheap ratchet with quick release. Once again, this has 4.6 stars at 206 ratings at just under, or we'll just call it $35. Here we have another long double box end wrench set. The last few weeks I've been trying to throw these in to my videos. I had a lot of people asking questions on them in the past few months, just long double box end wrenches in general, whether that be non-ratcheting or ratcheting. So I'm trying to go through all of the quality ranges as well as the design differences and everything. So over the next few weeks, you'll see non-ratcheting versions of this wrench set. You'll see ratcheting versions, some flex head ratcheting versions, and we're going to go from some of the cheaper options that you may have that you might use if you're a DIYer weekend warrior or sets that will be good for both DIYers and professionals and some sets that are going to be a little bit more spendy and may just be more geared towards the professional. This one I actually think is going to be pretty decent for both getting into the professional field and a weekend warrior DIYer. We've went over the Horus D, I think it's the brand is called, which is a cheaper set, I think around the $40, $45 price range that I think would be best suited for weekend warriors DIYers. Then the Capri set we went over next, which is going to be great for both, but is going to be a little bit higher than this set. I believe that one's around $100 to $110. This one kind of falls in the middle of those two at $66.30. This is not on sale right now. This is a little bit smaller set than the Capri set that we went over previously but still good for the price. And I know a lot of people that have actually used this in the professional field. The good thing about this style, this is a non-rationing version that we're talking about today. And when you have a long double box end wrench set, the main thing that's going to fail is if it's a ratcheting style, if you're using a cheaper brand ratcheting style version of this with the amount of torque that you can get on these wrenches, that's where you're going to see failure. As long as the fitment is good, which many people have used this brand and this set, and have been very pleased with it, especially for the price. So with this being a non-rationing version, I think a lot of you guys are going to be perfectly happy with this, whether you're a DIYer or a professional. Uh, now, granted, if you're a professional, you may need a, a larger set, something that covers a little bit more, and they do have different variations out there, and there are definitely other brands that you can still get affordable wrenches like this. Uh, with a wider variety of sizes, which I'm sure we'll go over in the future. But this week, we're looking at the Genius Tools four-piece set. This one is the SAE, 4.7 stars at 125 ratings. I think the fit and finish on this from just photos and in reviews and on here, they seem decent. There's not a whole lot of chroming in the internal portion, which is sometimes intentional uh, due to preventing any chrome from chipping internally in those teeth and preventing you from getting a good fitment on the fasteners. Uh, it does seem like they've done a good job of fit and finish as far as material and design on this. It looks very similar to the Capri. I don't think the chrome is going to be quite as nice but overall, I think it's a really good set for that $66 price range. This is actually one that I believe falls in between the Capri and the Horus D, whatever brand that was. Whereas the Horus D was a much cheaper set. There was some material and the fit and finish wasn't, you know, exactly cleaned up like you would see in a, a higher end, higher price tool. Where the Capri had a much nicer chrome job, much tighter 
and better fit and finish. And this is going to be actually right in between there. Sometimes you find items that the price falls right in between, but the quality doesn't necessarily match. Where this one, I believe from what I can tell, uh, this isn't one I personally have experiences with. I will be sharing, I have three or four brands myself in this style of wrench. So I'll be br sharing brands that I have used and haven't used. So if you guys have used any of the brands I do go over, please feel free to share your experiences with those down in the comments so other viewers may see it. Like I said, all of these items will be linked down in the description for you guys with our own independent link. But let's move on. I do want to share this with you so you guys can see. The sizes included are 5 16 3 8 7 16 and half inch, 9 16 5 8 11 16 and 3 quarters. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, so this set was literally just at $177. So here you can see the set is at $172.09. And that's, I just added it to my list to show you guys. And as soon as I click on it, it is now at $201.90. So at $200, I still think this is probably one of the best sets available for what you're getting. It's an absolute buy at $170. I can't remember what I paid for mine. It was probably right around that $170 price range, maybe $150, but this was you know, seven, eight years ago. So prices have gone up. And the fact that you can still catch this set around the $170 price range is fantastic. Unfortunately, it is for some reason at $201 right now down from a list price of 277. I don't think I've ever actually seen it sold at 277. But this is the DeWalt mechanics tool set 192 piece set DeWalt has actually quite a few good socket sets. But when I went through all of theirs, saw this set and knew this is exactly what I wanted because I didn't want a tool set that was full of wrenches that skipped a bunch of sizes. Plus a lot of the times when you get socket sets, the wrenches are usually a much lower quality than the rest of the stuff in the set. I wasn't looking for a lot of that filler items. I didn't want a bunch of little bits or bit driver or anything like that. And this set included a lot of sockets and that's what I was looking for. And that's what it provided. I wasn't now I had used tons of DeWalt power tools at the time, you know, seven, eight years ago, but never had I used, you know, like their hand tools, at least not on this scale. So I wasn't sure what to expect. And at the time of purchasing there, you know, Amazon wasn't that big. And I, I just wasn't sure if I was going to be happy with it or not, especially with how much I was spending at the time. And so it was really a gamble. And when I got it, I couldn't tell you how happy I was with the quality of it. I still have these here and are my primary sockets. Obviously they're not in the blow molded case and I have Matco and snap on and silver Eagle and a bunch of other brand sockets. You know, I got teched in, I got Capri, I got Ulsa, I got, I, I have endless brands, but this is still the one that takes up a majority of my main box. And the reason I love it is for one, it's affordable. You actually get a really good quality socket. The fitment, I have had no issues with the fitment, no issues with the Chrome. I have seen a couple reviews where people uh, had like a couple of their sockets unorganized when they, they got it, or they had two eight millimeters instead of a eight and a nine millimeter, something along those lines. But a massive majority of it is all positive reviews. Not only that, but you get a good selection in quarter inch, three eighths and half inch drive in shallow and deep well. And I believe it's the three eighths here because the half inch is going to be this top row in the bottom section. And this top row in the top section is all your three eighths deep well. But if you look at them, they're actually more of a mid length. And honestly, I like that. I like it a lot. I can get into very tight spaces when I'm still in need of a deep well socket. So I can get into those really awkward situations, but I still have the depth that I need. And I have found that I really enjoy those kind of mid length deep well sockets from this set. And once again, I haven't had any issues with fitment or Chrome or anything. And then instead of including a bunch of random little bits, they actually include some bit sockets in Allen and Torx. And then you have three universal joints, three spark plug sockets. You do have three ratchets, which honestly, I didn't have any issues with the ratchets 
from this set, but I did end up getting rid of them just because I had much better ratchets. I never had any issues as far as them jamming or anything like that, but they are very heavy ratchets. They're very heavy ratchets. So if, if you're working like on your back, you know, using these tools laying on the ground or whatnot, or holding this thing above your head, you may actually get tired of holding this ratchet. They, they do have some pretty decent weight to them. You could use them you could definitely use them as a hammer. So while there was no real issue with them, they were a little too heavy duty for my needs and I had much lighter, stronger, better quality ratchets to go with. So that was really the only thing that I got rid of in this set. I even still have these Allen key sets, still very handy. I've probably used those over a thousand times and haven't had any issues. And you get a decent selection of extensions in all three drive sizes as well. And that's it. You don't have a bunch of filler or junk. You just get some good quality stuff for a really good price. So even at that $200 price range, I think it's a good set. It's a fantastic deal at the $170 price range. So make sure when you're watching this video, just click the link if you are interested in this. You, it may be back at the 170. It is very commonly at the 170. So if you're interested in it, just kind of check back don't buy it at the 200 even though i think it's a good deal at that price wait till you see it at the 170 it's worth saving that 30 30 dollars for sure and uh, these ratchets are a 72 tooth design and i think they've actually changed the design since i purchased it a while back slim them down a little bit i believe but they are still big hefty ratchets from what i've seen so they do have other sets available as well these are just some kind of the combo deals but i think the 192 piece set you can see the part number here, but once again, it will be linked down in the description. This has 4.8 stars at 6,650 ratings, so rated very highly and rated a lot. You can see some of the information on it. If you would like to pause, you can read that. But that's it as far as this week's Amazon tool deals. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on some of these deals. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.